uh, catch up. So welcome to our uh, session on connecting experiences of facilitating the WSF um, by, from Forum Connect. My name is Meena Menon. I'm a trade union activist and working president of a labor network called the Working People's Network uh, Charter in India, a working people's charter. And I have been actively engaged in the social forum before in Mumbai in the 2004. And uh, my colleagues uh, in this project, Forum Connect, which we started recently, are Kinchi, Pierre, and Mike. Uh, so about Forum Connect, Forum Connect is a self-organized working group established to systematize information regarding the World Social Forum. And uh, our objective is to improve outreach about the forum, especially in Asia and Africa, to understand its history and its relevance to our own experience. So our goal is to develop a body of knowledge through Forum Connect dialogue sessions so mainly we, are, we don't do webinars, we do dialogue sessions, which will help people to better understand the social forum and to inform and expand the participation. So um, for those who are new here, I'm not sure whether there are new people. So we always give a little bit about the social forum in the beginning. So the World Social Forum is an international gathering of social movements, activists, which began in 2001 in Brazil as a counter dialogue to the World Economic Forum, which is held in January every year in Davos in Switzerland. It is a unique event where literally millions of people have participated over the years from all over the world. So, and its slogan, Another World is Possible, has become a very popular one. It has been the largest gathering of anti-globalization activists in the world in the past. Organizations, social movements have used this space to discuss, to strategize, to build campaigns and actions, and also to build networks to advance their work. The WSF that is ongoing, the WSF recently organized its first virtual event recently uh, because of the pandemic. And uh, Forum Connect started before, a little while before that, and it continues to organize these dialogues. So this dialogue is part of the series that we are organizing on connecting experiences of facilitating the forum. And we have four speakers, three from Brazil and one from Italy. So the speakers are Aldelis Otalu, Mauri Cruz and Selete Valesan from Brazil and Jason Nardi from Italy. I will, organize, I will introduce the, uh, the speakers as we go on. And a little bit about the way that we will conduct the entire exercise. Each speaker will have five minutes to begin with so that we don't have just lectures. We have five minutes to place your uh, experience. And then we will have uh, another, another round where people, the first speaker will speak first, this and throw some questions based on what all the speakers have spoken already. I will come to that again, but five minutes first, and later after that, you will get another three minutes to respond to what all the speakers have said. We hope that you will focus on some of the questions that we have sent you. Some of you have already responded to those questions, and we hope that this conversation that we have today will result in something that, that is a learning based on dialogue that will happen between the speakers. And the participants are welcome to post their questions in the chat box and we will pass the questions on to the speakers. I hope this is clear. If there are any questions, please put it in the chat box. Now we will start with Aldelis Otolu, who is a pedagogue, a popular educator, she was director of the Popular University Institute, Unipop, until May 2019, and a member of the executive coordination of the Brazilian Association of NGOs, that is Ebon National, from 2010 to 2014. Currently, she integrates the state coordination of Abon Para, 
and the regional coordination of the Eastern Amazon Forum. She has participated in mobilization and articulation of the Pan-Amazonia Social Forum since 2009. Over to you, Aldalis, five minutes. Sorry, but uh, Pierre, uh... Você poderia dar um apanhado geral das introduções, porque me parece que ela deu as orientações né, para começar o processo? Pierre, could you please um, explain to me? Because I think she gave me the orientations of the list. Can't hear you, Pierre. You do your exposition first, and then after you're going to answer questions. Can you hear me out the list? Yes, I can hear me. Uh, yes, I can hear you. You have five minutes. Okay, can you all hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, please go ahead. I received the invitation of uh, Pierre's invitation to participate in this forum. So I asked him if I could indicate someone else that continues to with the World Social Forum, but he said because of the Belém Forum, he would like me to participate. So I accepted the challenge because we were uh, stagnated for a little bit at the World Social Forum. But, so we concentrated in the Amazonian Forum. So our participation here in the Amazon region was a better, was an opportunity to better understand this forum space and its potentiality to organize uh, movements for uh, the struggle involving the Brazilian, the Amazonian, and the Latin American societies, and to foster this connection between this movement and other movements in the uh, global movements, searching for these more specific articulation mechanisms. Uh, just like after 2009, the Amazonian Forum had a great impulse because we were able to bring to the Belém Social Forum a rich diversity of movements. We had 120 different ethnies with more than 300 indigenous people. Uh, and also the Quilombola movements, women movements, cultural movements, all the richness that is the forum. However, we see that after all this effervescence, we go back home and things seem to cool down. We don't feel that things are advancing, the strengthening of the civil, society, the Brazilian society, the world, the global society, in the sense of being able to stop the advance of this model of, for development that's devastating, that produces inequalities, ever increasing inequalities, and tries and pos it makes it possible for the extreme right wing to have more space. We haven't been able to strengthen the experiences the, from the, the, the left wing, from the central left, from America, Latin America and other parts of the world. So all the advances and all the economical crisis and systemic crisis, they, um, they cause this, uh, this um, going back. Um, and it, because Amazon is the target of international um, envy, it pushes us 
to this confront uh, to this biggest confrontation and increases as as we increase our resistance it all it also increases the violence against the protectors, the protectors of human rights. So this advance, this assault to our richnesses keeps advancing. So the, but the construction uh, through visiting the experiences that we had to go around Pan-Amazonia, not just in Belém, in Macapá, in Santarém, in Manaus. We also, we also, we also went to Bolivia and in Peru. We, we planned to do it in, in Colombia. We couldn't, we had to do it virtually. So we started building methodological processes, pedagogical processes that made it possible the protagonism of more vulnerable groups but at the same time they they have been uh, getting uh, um, strength like the indigenous people the native people the women the quilombolas the youth so this is a process that has um allowed us to believe in this space of the World Social Forum and the Pan Amazonian Forum. So I chose the first few questions because we need to understand the World Social Forum as a process event. And in the editions of the Pan Amazonian Forum, we have been able to, despite the weaknesses, uh, we, this idea, this conception based on the methodological innovations we've been doing, like vis all the visits, the visitations before the event itself. Uh, to be able to visit, to get to know the space where we're going to interfere, which really it's an invasion. For example, here in Belém, we went to two universities located in the periphery, in the outskirts of the city. So it was a kind of an aggression. And at the same time, an event uh, completely uh, new, which made it possible a series of advantages. Now we can say that Amazonia, due to the conflict, the conflicts, um, the, res the way the, 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 the issues have been treated, but all the communities from the Amazon, Amazon, they've been, we've been trying to understand the importance of our region and to search out there in the world, a group of allied to bring to this space a more broad movement for building a new development uh, idea, which is not according to the big capital, but to what I really like about the forum is this possibility to build consensus among people, organizations, movements, aiming to build alliances with a common goal and to define some ways that will make it possible based on each reality of the groups where they're going to take place. For example, in the Pan Amazonia, the dialogue between people from the Andes and not from the Andes, between local movements, and international movements to discuss the Amazon, the, the context of the Amazonian and Pan Amazonia. So we start building consensus, which even though they are temporary, they bring important questions as we deepen our ideas, the understanding of the impact that some situations cause in the lives of groups and communities. For example, the burnings, the excessive use of agrotoxic, the deforestation and 
which make climate change even more serious, uh, making it, um, it deepening the inequality between people. So this pandemic put in, put it, has put in evidence this situation. And this consensus that we are building, they could they they could make it possible, make it possible for us new new tools, new for for our fight. And we have to rethink these broad spaces and how to bring from these broad spaces orientations and indications that the smaller spaces, the local struggles are can be valued, can be given uh, a big importance to this broader struggle. So you all asked, so you asked me, so someone asked me, but how can you control, how can you follow the 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 compromise uh, the the commitment of these people that come to these spaces is their plan of action. Our reflection is that the the commitment is from the people that participate in in the institutions that insert their institutional actions to with actions to strengthen the actions for movement against this um, against the accumulation of capital there's there's no pretension in these meetings and processes to define uh, actions or a work plan these meetings they pos make it possible debates uh, about the problems that the people the people's face and in, in our case, the people from the Amazon and from the Andes and what they have to face in their daily lives, their experiences, though in this space we analyze, we debate, and this can show us the way to build a new conception of society not based on the necessities of the markets, but in the needs of the human beings. And for this, we have to resist and not advance in public. Uh, our, our task here has been to propagate the struggle of the quilombolas of the indigenous people so that they have a tool at their disposal, uh, a legal tool for their struggle. And in the protagonism of these peoples, they, it will uh, allow them some autonomy, some security um, in the debate. Uh, the civil society organizations, they've been contributing to foment to these questions. And just to end, okay, the examples of the FOSPA as a consequence of the WSF, it renovates itself, it maintains itself. The AMA, World Assembly for the Amazon that mobilizes people and organizations like recently, the cry of the jungle, all these initiatives are a consequence of debates that happened at the FOSPA and at the World Social Forum. So this consensus, consensus is that we keep building It's not just with one or, uh, or another individual entity. There's no vertical structure. There is a horizontal relation. And people take part because they are committed or because they are able, they have the conditions to participate. We are 
all of those who initiated these processes in these events that stimulate, that um, produce fruit. And this letter from FOSPA, we've been able to perceive and to learn with, with the native people, which are way more advanced in the way of, um, of their experiences and to possible to make it possible this exchange, which was extremely rich. In the regional articulations also, in the case of AMA, AMA, and also the Grito da Selva, the cry of the jungle, which they were organized by the Pan Amazonia. Also the leadership, uh, uh, they keep alternating and the global care for defense of the Amazon it starts to have a greater resonance. We are getting, we are preparing now for next year, the 10th FOSPA, which will be in Berlin, not only because it has a left wing government recently elected, but also because it's right in the middle of the Amazon where biggest of the conflicts are. And we could have this call, this, this posterior impact in the politics, in the, in the international organizations that could also mm -hmm. give us some visibility. Your time, your time so is I up. think that's all. I got a little lost in the questions because there are so many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's many questions. We understand it's been really difficult. We have too many questions. So you just had to pick your main points and that's fine. Thank you so much. It was very, very uh, interesting to learn about uh, those of us who were in Berlin during the uh, forum there. Uh, it was a very exciting uh, event. It was a very, uh, very new experience for all of us who were in the forum. Thank you so much for sharing that experience and also the challenges which you're facing and it's good to know what is happening now and what you're preparing for and how it links with the movements. Thank you so much, Aldelise. And now uh, we will go to uh, Jason. Uh, Jason, I'm afraid I don't have a detailed uh, uh, introduction for you. Uh, so I would request you to, to, to uh, introduce yourself as well. So I know that Jason uh, works with the with the transformative economies, and uh, he well, he is uh, been part of the European uh, Forum, and he has been part of the social forum process from uh, from the beginning. Jason, five minutes. Thanks, Mina. Uh, yeah, so uh, just to, for those who don't know me, uh, um, I live in Italy um, and uh, I've been um, for many, many years involved in uh, the uh, movement for uh, fair trade, for ethical finances, for uh, solidarity um, economy, all the alternatives to the market uh, extractive, uh, globalized and capitalist uh, system, um, but in a very practical um, way. And, um, and I've been involved in the World Social Forum more than now, tw now 20 years, uh, which is a very long time. Um, actually, we started uh, in Seattle, uh, some of you might remember, 1999, WTO, World Trade Organization, the uh, sort of the birth moment of the uh, no global or alter, alter globalist movement. Um, and, uh, and in a sense, it, it was from there that um, I think the, uh, the idea of having a, uh, a, a, a world, a global gathering to bring together um, 
the movements that are uh, on one side resisting and fighting uh, the advancement of the neoliberal glo globalist um, <clears throat> economy and on the other uh, to think and build another possible uh, world, actually other possible worlds in a plural, uh, is it came a bit <clears throat> from there. And in, I remember in, in Italy, in Padova, uh, we had in the year 2000, a world social forum, we called it like that, um, exactly in, in contrast to Davos. And then we participated uh, at the time I was working with Unimondo One World, uh, a, uh, a portal uh, on information, networking many different organizations around the world. And we participated in, in Porto Alegre, which was then sort of the, uh, the, um, the place that symbolized uh, participatory budgeting and participatory democracy and a different relation um, between social movements and citizens and, and, and the uh, institutions and governments. Um, <clears throat> 20 years have, have passed in the meantime, and, but we, uh, the, the social forum has gone global as well. And it, it, uh, in, in, one year later, we organized the, the, the forum in, in Florence, the European social forum, which is, was a huge, success also unexpected as was Porto Alegre uh, at the beginning. And it generated a lot of, um, uh, of networking and of new movements um, on, on many, many um, different levels, bringing a lot of young people to become aware and uh, um, active in their territories. So what I would like to look at is to and briefly, uh, I know my time is almost over, but uh, look at two aspects and, and, and take some of the things that Galicia also said. One is um, that today we are in, in, in a totally different context than 20 years ago, and we cannot think of the World Social Forum in the same way. Um, whereas uh, then it was a gathering space to help people converge. Um, I think today it's, it, we need something much more sophisticated in some way. Um, so we need a space that is not just um, a place to recognize each other, to uh, mobilize, connect and uh, share ideas, political objectives. Um, but a space that allows us to be and feel part of a global movement of movements and that allows us to um, share our resources and, uh, and multiply what we're doing in, in many different places. Um, it needs to be much more of a, a creative process and that links global and local activists uh, together um, and that allows the cross fertilization of the different spheres of action. So we need to have at the same time the, the resist mode and the build mode that come together. Um, we cannot resist without building the new that we want. And this I think has been a bit of a weakness of the forum, which rhetorically has been always about the another world is possible, but it really has worked uh, much with the uh, dynamics of old politics, of old left uh, wing po politics. And we, we have seen that today these are no longer efficient. We need to create different forms uh, where representation is no longer the real way in which we interact. We need much more um, uh, uh, forms of mutual facilitation. And, uh, and this needs, this is a learning process. It needs to have much more of these meta spaces as the one you have created here with uh, Forum Connect that allow to think 
um, on how to build um, the methodology um, so that we advance from one forum to the other from uh, and, and, and allow also the, the mutual learning um, that is needed to not restart every time that we organize something. And I'm talking as an organizer because uh, well, last in the last years, I've been quite concentrated with the World Social Forum of Transformative Economies. The attempt there uh, is to bring together uh, all those movements uh, that are uh, trying not only to imagine, but to actually build the other possible world. And um, it's, it, 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 I, I found that it was much more complex than, than I thought it would be. Even though we share common values, um, many of the organizations and the networks uh, know each other, uh, Etc. But finding the right formula of governance and sharing the uh, responsibilities of how to build this process space and facilitation way, so that it's not concentrated, but it's really decentralized, um, and that participation is allowed at all levels. That is a very complex thing to do. And it requires a lot of time. And the, the tools that we're using, like this one, um, to be able to connect at a distance, help on one side, but make things um, more difficult on the other. One, one, one of the things that the World Social Forum did, even though it um, required people to travel throughout the world to meet together in one space uh, was that you had the human, the human dimension, the human contact. Um, the mediation of uh, technology to do this, um, we're not used to it yet enough to replicate this human contact and I don't think it's possible at the end. So we need um, a bit of both. We need to improve uh, the use, the correct use of these tools. And we need to rethink the way we meet uh, together. So thanks. And uh, let's go on with this dialogue. Nina, your phone. And thank you for sticking to your time as well. You've raised some very, very important questions. And one of the things you said was that, uh, I mean, the need to also do more in order to change the way that we are meeting. And what are the things that won't change and what are the things that will have to change? So thank you for that. I hope that the other speakers will also respond to you when the time comes to for them to do so. And uh, now we have, our third speaker, and I call up, uh, is Maori here? He said he's trying, but we don't, we are helpless with him. We don't know how, uh, when he want, will come. He's trying. So we okay. have Salet. Salet, um, she has uh, been with the social forum from the beginning. She has been, uh, she has been in the International Council of the Social Forum also. She uh, is. Uh, she was at that time the representative of the Paulo Freire Institute, and now she is with CLACSO, uh, Latin American Council of uh, Social Sciences. Uh, Salete, do say a little bit more about yourself because the bios, as I said, for Jason as well, they are very brief, and I think a little bit more about yourself would also be useful. Salete, five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mina. Thank you, Mina. For the introduction, for the opportunity. For the opportunity. Thank you, Pierre, for the invitation. Thank you, Pierre, for this the space invitation. here at the Forum Connect is very important. Is very important. In a moment when we have that difficulties are, to get together in person, and it can be uh, a big mobilizing space a, and for a very dialogue opportunities space, for debate uh, and for questions that. Uh, 
sometimes we can't deepen within the World Social Forum go deeper in the social in the World Council. I've been participating in the World Social Forum since the beginning. Since the beginning. I've been participating in the forum in India. In India. Very important, this process, it's so, it's which, was, which took place in India in 2003 and 2004, uh, with an 2004, event. It was a mark, a turning it point was a, of changing uh, of comprehension of cultures. I will have to take a little bit more. Quando o grupo so, uh, in 2000, it was uh, something contrasting with devils. The G8, the eight countries that dominate. but also the con conditions of uh, development and humanity. We, we have done three in Porto Alegre and I participate. I participate also of the edu education forum uh, global. It has a different proposal because in the forum, uh, government didn't participate and nor the secretaries, but uh, in, the, in this forum, they, they was part of the group. And the forum, the education forum is not more uh, mixed. It is uh, organized by the movement, movements uh, of the education, education fields with uh, some, something that marked the first first uh, forum in Porto Alegre. It was, we, we have talked about to create another space. Uh, it was the, which was the na national counseling, which began with the networks inter internationals in the first uh, meeting in Porto Alegre. It was important and necessary. It was very necessary that process uh, could grow and, and be stronger the first group of the Forum Mundial was surprised with the global participation. So it was uh, necessary that diversity had a, a very important place so that we create a global council. In each process we organize uh, in India and Africa, at, uh, or Canada, or 
in Latin America, mm -hmm. including the the forum that Odalisa <coughs> talk about more about this because she's very connected with the FOSPA and the forum social that has been realized in Belém. Belém. Uh, it was like India, uh, it was a mark, uh, an important mark uh, regarding the environmental the difficulties of the territory and the organization global, the organal because the devastation human that uh, G8 from the Forum Social Pro, uh, Global Forum, the Davos, they, they say about uh, They talk about the development, the global de development. For them, it's only uh, linked to commerce and from uh, from the Paulo Freire Institute and the other one, and all the networks I. I am connected to, they have the same importance since uh, 2000. It's a space of changing. Where we can plan. So it's a space uh, where the organizations action, and the movements can get together. Action. It's a place where the organizations and, and organize and local or global actions. The, they go from the small actions, actions to bigger to actions. The bigger and they all have the same all importance them, all of them because it's a horizontal space. Importance. It's not vertical. It's and it needs to be maintained uh, as a place also vertical. Uh, for the and International so Council, also for events, um, processing the events. It's a, it's a place with, where, where it should be a place where people respect their differences, differences and where diversity the, 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 from diversity each people, each uh, place, each country, each territory people, people. finds a place for respect, uh, a place where democracy where the, and the advances democracy, in, in social politics, the developments of the environment, in, in social human, uh, human can find the strengthening uh, from the from local global act, uh, actions, actions and from and local global actions. actions. The proposal of actions, global actions. Why do Why I bring this question? It's because from my point of because view, from my point of view, all, all the, uh, the forums, all of the forums, they are regional that thematic are after 2001 that they bring this importance all of them, they bring that the, this necessity the that this the, need the, the, for the, the a democratic horizontal place which is the world social forum allows these advances it permits allow that this, uh, in an annual or biennial process in which it took place. If, uh, there was no possibility if, for when it will. When it was reali realized that we. It was possible to build the the thematic forum nationals. We here in Brazil we had a lot of uh, thematic forums. We had two forums, two Brazilian forums, uh, in order to Brazil 
could uh, participate with his difficulties and uh, and allow to build a, a networking uh, very strong. It that's why uh, the forum. It's very alive here. I agree with Jason. It's necessary that changes that will change since uh, the beginning of uh, the forum could also be reflected in the inside. For the that this two years of pandemic could help us uh, to understand more ourselves and that actions could uh, be present to. That's not that's not only only the pandemic that uh, is calling us to transforming, but the planet is also calling for help because uh, it we have a, a devastation of the nature. The space of uh, forum is also important like uh, 2000 and 2001 and to overcome the problems uh, uh, the inner problems because of the organizations and people in special the in the it will be necessary that uh, the human beings uh, act like uh, more uh, justice uh, to be more kind uh, that they have more respect for the others and the, to have and that they have uh, the wide open to the planet for the difference. The people are different. We are a big, we have a big diversity in the planet, but we are all uh, together to the fight, to fight for the human rights and all the, the, the rights. We know it's important. And even those which are the other uh, nature will have, will, we should uh, fight about the other interests that not come along with this uh, fights we have in the forum, social, social forum. The Leche, I think you muted yourself by mistake. No, I, I think she, she was finished. Ah, okay. She was, but I didn't realize it. Okay, okay. So Leche, thank you so much. But you will get a chance to uh, talk again. Now we are uh, only three speakers. So Leche, you can speak again. Uh, later, some of the points, I think we didn't quite get what you were saying uh, because the translation got a little confused. We had two, I'm so sorry, Teresa. Uh, we had a bit of a problem there, which will get sorted out. Um, so now I request uh, 
the, because now we want to carry on the dialogue. Um, if we can have uh, the first speaker to respond to what the others have said. Aldalis, if you can respond to what you heard from the other two speakers and from this discussion uh, and how you would like to take this forward, please throw some questions. Uh, please respond to what they said and also put some questions back to them so that we can continue the uh, conversation. Aldelis, and you have just three minutes. Aldelis? Aldelis, where uh, você? Pode falar, Aldalice. Where is Aldalice? Aldalice, she's... Aldalice, where is she? You can speak now, you can respond to the question Salet, Jason... I don't see Aldalice. Mm. Where is Aldalise? Has she been disconnected? No, I can see oh. Aldalise here. Yeah. yeah. Aldalise, I'm trying. I'm trying to to ask her, but Aldalise. No. You will. Uh, I think let the Portuguese translator try on the Portuguese channel to talk to Aldalise. She doesn't seem to hear me. I will try. Uh, when I was translating in Portuguese, she couldn't hear me. Oh. Up here? Yes, I'm trying, but I've, uh, I uh, I will go by and the... Lead. By the um, Aldalice, <laughs> fala, por favor. Um, no, let me, she's not. Uh, Call her on the phone. Yeah. Eu não estou vendo o microfone dela. Eu the também. Letter. Yeah, I, she, she said I cannot hear. I cannot see her microphone. Oh. I cannot see Aldalice's microphone. Oh, she's she's disconnected then. I think she got out now. So let's start maybe with Jason. Yes. Jason, um, is there anything that you would like to uh, like to respond to the other two uh, speakers, particularly with respect to the facilitation of the forum and <laughs> here is Dr. We take her back later. Jason, over to you. Three minutes. O Jason vai falar, mas depois vou... As soon as Pierre mutes his microphone. Ok. Thanks. Um, ok, well, I think that there's, there's new... Um, there's a new horizon today. Um, in, in a, on one side, uh, the uh, pandemic crisis, as <coughs> Salete was saying, has uh, sort of created a, a uh, common understanding for all of us on which we can <clears throat> build together. Um, in a sense, this is also what the, the climate crisis has done. These are two global crises that affect everyone. Um, even if differently, but uh, everyone is affected and conscious of, of these uh, two uh, and uh, the uncertainty that they bring and the, uh, the political response that they <clears throat> have generated are something uh, that um, we urgently need to answer to. So I think we have at least these two uh, common issues 
uh, that need our, our, uh, our specific attention beyond everything else that we are um, every day working on, fighting on, um, trying, trying to solve. If we can come together uh, on, on these as we came in 2003 when, when we mobilized worldwide um, for the uh, war in Iraq, for instance, uh, with a strong response that is one voice, um, plural and diverse, et cetera, but uh, visibly is, 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 one, is one voice around the world, I think that would be really, really important. Um, there is the need to join forces with the young generations that are promoting the, the climate justice movement today, which was present in the World Social Forum throughout, but um, in a different in a different way, um, because it came from the movements uh, and NGOs that uh, were doing advocacy uh, with the institutions at the UN and at the and and um, in their <clears throat> respective um, political spaces. Today, there is a generation uh, of of people who are uh, aware that their future is in danger. And um, it's, <clears throat> uh, this has gone beyond a lot of differences that um, might, might have divided us before. So I see these, these two very important issues uh, that also link with uh, what <clears throat> Aldalisa was saying about the Amazon and, and the, uh, uh, the importance that the Amazon represents uh, also worldwide. The, the other issue um, I think is about the power relations that we have uh, and that we need to work on within our movements, within our organizing, within our um, definition of spaces and of processes. Uh, we need to separate the issue of representation from the issue of facilitation um, because this, this brings division. So um, one, one of the things that Salete said was that yes, in theory, the World Social Forum is a horizontal open space inclusive for everyone. But then when we get to define this space and to organize it. Um, and we need to count who is representing whom. And uh, then, then it becomes different. Then uh, the, 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 the participants have a different say. And this is where we need to, to really uh, uh, do a leap and, 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 and change. Responsibility is what we should share much more. Um, responsible, political responsibility, but also financial responsibility. Who participates in this space has to contribute in some way, not just receive. Um, and the contribution has to be proportional to the possibilities. So I think we need to work with the mutualistic, cooperative, uh, experience that many of our organizations have and, and try to build the next 20 years of the World Social Forum in a much more um, commoning way, um, bringing the commons as part of our uh, organizational dimension. Yeah. Thank you, Jason. Você pode sintetizar a fala do Jason? Ah, é, é, porque você não recebeu tradução, Adelice? Não. Ah, ah, bom, 
É, ele diz que... Yeah. Sim. Yes, Nina. Yeah, help, please. No, the Alice says that she did not receive translation from I what Jason. Alda, você clicou no mundinho que tem de tradução lá embaixo? Qual? Ah. É. É um, como um globo. Qual? Um, esse tem um ah, globo. É esse que parece. Esse que parece globo. É um globo, parece. Você vê isso? Mas pode resumir para ela, Pierre. Sim, o Jason, ele diz que uh, tinha que, que juntar forças com a nova geração, uh, que, que sabe que o seu futuro está em perigo, uh, em perigo é que uh, o que, é que você fala da Amazônia é muito importante, e ele vê dois problemas. O um problema do, do poder, dentro dos movimentos, que é a definição dos espaços, dos processos, e que te, temos que separar a representação... Have to separate the representation and the facilitation. And also, the participants have to contribute to the process according to our possibilities, and we should share the responsibilities more than what we've been doing at the moment. And we also have to do a leap in the, in the quality of our organization and the separation of facilitation and representation. Can I speak? Yes. I think, well, Salet, posed several important questions about the different processes from the beginning of, from the first forum to now. It's a reality. All these internal crises in these collective spaces that are being built in terms of understanding of what's the protagonism, autonomy, respect, um, to the vi visions, uh, cultural, intercultural visions that become evident in these movements. We have been trying to conv uh, this is a Herculean exercise to listen to the other, to be able to understand what is moving, what's, what's um, causing that situation. So in the last ten, in the last decade, we've been facing more than before the violence and the dismantling of the of of the policies or special environmental policies, and this has been making possible has creating uh, at the same time as a chaotic situation, but also it creates opportunities. Uh, several organizations that um, work in the Amazon, they're trying to create possibilities for the native peoples are the protagonist in this rebuilding, this re, uh, uh, of reaction, this resistance that they are not controlled by organizations that are going to defend them, but together with them, they need to create these parameters. For example, the forum for the um, Eastern Amazon, which congregates more than 50 entities of the Amazon, Brazilian Amazonic uh, Amazon region, the, the, the Eastern Amazon region. It's been trying to, uh, to look for actions um, starting from their entities that will allow communities, for example, the Quilombola communities, for example, for four years, they had this project there where 80 uh, young leadership, because we have to invest in the youth, in the youth. The, the current project called Mindagua is with the women, the warrior, the women warrior from Maranhão. 
So the women from these two uh, tribes, from these two ethnies, they've been having a very impressive protagonism as far as uh, learning about the tools, controlling their territories, to have a voice inside their communities, to uh, be respected. And many of them are looking for academy, for the academy to uh, strengthen their dialogue. And this, inter this exchange that we've been doing with uh, Europe, with other places, is for them to be the, the, the speakers for their realities. And these groups, they're also having some protagonism. In, in the case of the Quilombola groups, many of them looked uh, for the universities to be able to discuss, to strengthen the, the Quilombola communities as far as their natural resources, uh, preservation uh, in terms of staying at the, in the area which is being invaded and where their leadership is being assassinated um, and, and the community has been exterminated. In the case of the current government, it's even worse because in addition to dismantling the legal support these communities have, they don't facilitate uh, the control of the violence, the invasion by the mining companies, the deforestation, the no recognizement of the of previous consultations so then the river, the pollution of the rivers start, the forum has been, has been bringing into the debate these questions, which could be uh, dialogue, which could be discussed, so people could understand that Amazon is not just the resources, but it goes beyond that, the exploration of those resources and the people who are trying to preserve their natural, the natural knowledge, not to allow uh, the, the things to get polluted. So in the relation with the academy, a lot of the studies that, pos that um, pos made it possible for the natives to get into academy, and, and who could understand the native peoples to understand their real, the reality they live nowadays. But at the same time, there is a control, a prosecution, destruction. For example, one of the native women, Alexandra, she's been a, a great protagonist. She has had a very impressive protagonism. Recently in Germany, she was able to tell them what the companies in Germany are doing. In, in, in Brazil, they're destroying the Amazon. So what you have to do is you have to support us so they stop destro destro uh, destroying our region. So this dialogue from someone that's experienced, that's from the land, is a native from the land, it's an incredible thing. But Alessandra, uh, her life is in danger. She had already to go to three different places because whatever she brings her kids, there's persecution, people trying to kill her. It's very difficult you, for you to be silent in face of all of this. And all these topics have been coming to the forums, not just here in, in, in Peru, in Colombia. We needed to look for the identities of our struggles and to build based on them and to build a plan, uh, not a, a plan, a structure plan for action, but at least an indication, a guide, a guide which would be the sum of each localized experience to have a national and an international plan. Because one of the things about the forum in Peru was this dialogue between Amazon and not Amazon, Andes and not Andes. Uh, uh, 
academic organizations and native people's organizations so that they could have a voice uh, in this within the methodological condition and within the debate spaces to bring the, the information. And what was new about the forum in Peru was that uh, they organized a committee for the native organizations and they started to visit all the spaces where the forums had happened, who took part, um, what were the, the, the conclusions, what did you think? And then after they said, they, they went to every country in the Amazon and then they organized visitations in their territories so people could could exist could with the, the with the communities that lived there and then from that many wonderful things happen like the women of prota the protagonism of the women of the native people the participation of women in politics the voice within their tribes so it was very rich in another, uh, oh, AMA was a, res a result of this process, the World Assembly for the Amazon, which through COICA, which is an organization that's within AMA, uh, for the Grito de la Selva, the, the cry of the jungle, in which a lot of um, pedagogical material was produced, videos, uh, showing the reality of one another. So when people arrived there, they knew exactly which realities they're getting into. So that was very important because it's a compromise. It, it, makes us, it makes us commit to that struggle, to that reality. And that's what I consider to be important in this space of the forum. But I think there should also be a broader space in which we could identify different processes which we are not taking care of. For example, the, the group LGBTQ has been uh, having a lot of evidence, the black women also, the, the first march of the native women is an indication that there is um, uh, a systematization, organization of, the, the, of this women, the women's struggles. So Amazon needs to be looked at with a lot of care. And that's why we need, we want to organize the 10th FOSPA here in Berlin. And here uh, the committee is started yesterday and they're discussing this. Tomorrow we're gonna find out if it's gonna be approved or not. In, uh, it's going to be uh, between Berlin in Brazil and another place where this Pan Amazonia did not happen yet. But we have to see the local condition, the political conditions, the infrastructure uh, situation, so that this forum will be a mark in the struggle in the defense of the Amazon. Thank you, Aldelis, for that. Thank you, Thank so you Aldelis. So uh, I think that uh, Aldelis has also raised the very important issue of how the struggles can be supported in the space of the forum, how it, you know, whether the forum will make sense at all if it cannot support or create a space for the struggles to develop further without a space for the social movements where the social movements feel that it is useful to be there because it will help them. So when I say social movements, it also includes the kind of alternate, alternative building that Jason was talking about. And I think that's the, that seems to be a very good question. Is there, is this a space that the social movements are feeling comfortable in? 
and how can there be better solidarity? How can there be more social movements coming in? What is it that the forum can do? What is it that it could do in the past? What is it that it can do in the future and how? Maybe that's something that uh, Salete, could, when she speaks, could also address, because some, that's some of the questions which Antibise has also raised. Salete. Obrigada, Mina. Salete, só antes de tu começar, é esse que está escrito interpretação, é? E a tradução? Isso, isso. isso. Ah, legal. Então, você coloca no próximo. É, é, você coloca no português. Ah. É... Mina, é, é, é muito bom te ver aqui, <risos> mesmo que ainda não dá para dar um abraço apertado, mas é muito bom te ver aqui. A, e a Alda, é, Alda Alice, brilhante como sempre. Alda Alda Alice, you're brilliant as always. Pure energy. É, colocado aí nessa <risos> Put in, in your, your energy in your heart, uh, pure heart in your struggle. These are two women. They are part of my admiration group, Mina and Aldalis, because both of them represent a huge strength when the forums took part in India and in Belém. So these are two women that I really admire within the World Social Forum and I respect both of you a lot for, the, for your strengths and your knowledge, your wisdom in which you act and you treat things. And Jason, you're always innovating, right? We, we worked together some time ago and I understand that the buildings you do are very important. The constructions you do are very important, provocative. It's just too bad that not everyone that's inside this space uh, is in, in special the International Council can see it. And also even the constructions, uh, Pierre's constructions and, and and collocate what he said. So I think all of us, all of us, we 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 do things are right, some not so 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 right, so great. But and that's why I understand that the social forum is as important as in the year 2000, or even more important, because those who need to learn are, are the human beings that get into the forum, that have the opportunity to to learn to teach and also to learn. So it's this openness that we believe it's fundamental. So I just want to go back to a few points of the World Social Forum. One of them, for, from my point of view, that we need to take, to take care of is the format, its format. It uh, becomes uh, more and more important each time uh, to have it um, in, in person, but also it gained another dimension that if we can work with more, with a methodology uh, that's more dynamic and more open, which is the virtual dimension. So in my view, we have this World Social Forum in two forms forms, one in person and another one virtual. For this new moment, the communication becomes even more important. And inside the communication, there is the social communication within the organizations, in the media, the commercial communication that we need to understand, to dominate it, to really have a good grasp of it, to use it so that um, what happens in the World Social Forum is even, is also here and also to develop, uh, keep developing our own communication. And I'm talking about the communication channels, the technology, 
but I also talk about the policies, the politics of communication, the decisions, the methodology, uh, all the, the, the whole conception of what it means, this process, uh, th this world of communication within the World Social Forum and in society, or else we're just going to keep talking just to the planet, just to the, to the world of the World Social, Social Forum, and we have to overcome this. And in addition to communication, there's the issue of sustainability, which Jason already mentioned, our financial sustainability. So, uh, and, and resources that could come from our organizations, from people that get involved. Uh, is the, the financial sustainability of the process. I understand that some uh, already have some experience and some learning in this process um, and, we, and we can all learn. And basically we start to resolve some issues that monopolize the, our meetings and, and the actions of the International Council but without imposing. People need to have more generosity and tolerance and less imposition. It's not true that the world of academy, the knowledge, the erudite knowledge has the total knowledge, the total uh, true truth. And also it's not true that just our daily lives uh, has the truth. So to arrive to this place together is me, it means to build a more generous truth so we can continue. So we have to overcome the dichotomy of consensus because if if we if consensus doesn't work, then voting will not work. So what can we create? And we can create uh, if the shatter of principles is a fragile point that divides the energies of the International Council, then what's the suggestion? What, what, what's not, what, what's not a common commitment? commitment, what are the problems there? And, and, and we need to look at that with more commitment. And if the World Social Forum wants to become a global actor, it needs sincerely that it's humans to participate in this constructive process, have more generosity, more compromise, more respect and less individuality. That's it, Mina. Thank you, Salete. It's wonderful to see you too. And uh, another, I think that's another point that Jason had also made that the human contact uh, element of the forum, uh, which does not exist in virtual forums, that uh, seems to be a consensus that doesn't work really for the forum because that human contact becomes very important, especially for activists who, who may be in the digital space, but are not as comfortable in the digital space as they are in the physical space. And, uh, and you again talked about the need for uh, more dialogue, which is less about individual positions and more about building commonality and consensus and listening to each other, which I think is also something that has come up uh, from this discussion has been very important and try to find new ways of organizing because the forum is still a space and there isn't any other space like this. Um, would anyone else, like Jason, would you like to uh, come in on uh, this issue? Because we have a little bit of time, unless anybody else would like to come in, we have a little bit more time because since our last speaker hasn't uh, come. So Jason, uh, would you like to take a couple of minutes? Yes, well, um, I think uh, this period 
and the preparation for the next forum uh, in Mexico um, can allow us to um, try to, um, what was said at the very beginning, to systematize what we already have, um, to try to um, build on, on, on all the <clears throat> many active uh, forum processes that exist. Um, there was a very good uh, exchange that took place in, in the last months uh, among um, the thematic and, and, and uh, territorial forums um, that are live, still live today. And I think that dialogue has to continue and has to be um, strengthened uh, in some way. Um, but there has to be also someone who makes it, communicates it. Um, uh, so that <clears throat> it's not an invisible dialogue, but it, it's, it's something that uh, we can take um, and, and bring to the next forum as, as part of the construction uh, of this global decentralized form of meeting. Um, I also think that the, the, the sort of um, World Social Forum as a, as a global event <clears throat> once every so-and-so years is maybe not the best way to, to go ahead um, because uh, I think it will be much more difficult in any case for people to travel and it will be always the same group of people that travels. So that is not um, innovating uh, the participation or allowing a more inclusive participation. So I think the presential meetings will be more of um, on, on the territorial level or sub-regional uh, sub levels. And then there might be some groups that, that meet together um, to keep the <coughs> sort of the, the process going on uh, globally, but the global interaction will be mainly virtual. Um, but together with that, we need to really improve our, our communication with uh, all the participants from the different forums so that they feel that they are part, not only of that specific convergence that they're doing um, in uh, Nepal, in, in, uh, um, in Colombia, in the United States, uh, in uh, in, in South Africa, on extractivism, on uh, um, the uh, whatever theme that <laughs> they're, they're working on, but they, they feel they are part of a larger movement. This is, this is the, the, the symbolically what really the forum um, brings. So to do that, we, we need to uh, share the, the, the information uh, among all the organizers of the forums um, so that they can find a system to, uh, to communicate together. I think if we concentrate on this and advance till the next forum um, and, and find some common agreement on, on how to um, communicate to all participants together without centralizing, but uh, multiplying the communication and synchronize, let's say, the communication, then we will have really made uh, the forum uh, a bigger, a bigger and, and, and more relevant space than it is today. Thank you so much, Jason. And uh, I think that this session uh, we had. Uh, more discussion because I think the speakers have been just a learning for us, giving the speakers more time and a couple of rounds is uh, actually giving us more meat for discussion and we are able to come to some conclusions. So we probably will continue this way with less speakers and more discussion. A lot of points have come up. We will try and process this. And just to say that the idea of Forum Connect is indeed to to do a little bit in terms of what you were saying, to process some of this discussion, this uh, 
the the wisdom of so many years of experience to try and process that to try and uh, to try and uh, put it together you know maybe not even process just putting it out there so that people can respond and get new ideas on how this can work in the future so so thank you very much unless any of my colleagues would like to speak uh, pierre kinchi is there anything you would like to add or then i will conclude the session uh, yes mina i'm i'm available to add something uh, if, if you give me the floor sempre pode me dar depois 5 minutos eu agradeço uns 2 minutos Musica, give me two minutes i would appreciate two minutes for pierre two minutes valde isso Uh, vou, vou falar em português para para a gente do, do Brasil me entender mais. Uh... I will talk in Portuguese. For... I would like to talk about two things. Like Jason says, that we have to separate the facilitation and the representation. the ways of participation we, we are talking about politics the, the ways must be common If they must be like this in order that the forum could be a, a space of articulation. And I would like to illustrate that this way to have uh, a lot of forums uh, all over the world but these initiatives are uh, to describe uh, the the way to act together they ex they explain what are the goals they have and the organizations could invite another organizations because what what uh, who what wants to do what with who what's what means uh, aliens We can build big things, and we should not uh, think that uh, we could uh, be identified like a forum. I remember in the first years in camp. The movement we we made was sufficient to make uh, a lot of uh, noise. The Panamazonic Forum is uh, growing and very important and allow new dialogue the second point like said the jason that people be conscious that uh, they are participating in a process the uh, freedom where they can learn a lot of things to do co connections 
it's a, a narrative The, we can be facilitators to make this process uh, better to uh, explaining that uh, participate it's not only an act a political act but an administrative act But uh, it's a space that has that uh, what we can wait from this uh, all this process. People can have a lot of work to maintain the the forum dynamic. Pia, your two minutes is up. <laughs> yeah, I, I, show, I, I forgot to put my video, but that's all. <laughs> I stopped. Oh, you forgot to put your video, yes. Exactly. You did. I think that. Well, first I would like to thank Salet, and uh, the same is true, Salet. We learned a lot with you in the organization of the forum. We had a few conflicts because you, you came for the first time to the organization of this of the region. And we thought maybe we didn't have a lot of experience and they were only there to organize the infrastructure. But then this dialogue made it possible for us to, to clarify, uh, to, underst uh, to understand these understandings. And another thing, is uh, in relation to the learning that we had with the forum and how it extended itself to Santa Rain, Santa Rain to the lower Amazon, to Macapá, and the question of mining and how it started to, uh, to spread. So we noticed that within the academy, in the relations um, between the, the big and the small medium organizations, um, organizations um, specific local, very specific to small uh, communities. So all of this possibilitated all these dialogues and the learning. So in this project with the Quilombola communities, one simple thing, thing that we learned, people that participated in the Amazonian forum in Santarém, uh, see the, the work there was about form, forming uh, the leaders, educators, the youth, and within our methodological proposal, pro, uh, it, um, it was to get to know the Amazon. So, so then we have the native people that would come and, and discuss um, issue, the Amazonian issues, and people from the Quilombola, people from the from from the surrounding areas and who could share their experiences. And this was uh, allowed us, it was very enriching for us, especially for the uh, educators, the popular educators. And another, another issue was um, uh, about the Quilombolas. So they're all uh, black. So the girls would come with their hair uh, straightened and dyed blonde. So during our reflections, those girls naturally, they, they realized that there was a violence against themselves. And in this sense, they, they, they started to, to stop doing that. And at the end of the course, which took over four years, 
those girls, uh, they are able to to value themselves, their hair, the way they see themselves. Uh, so that was a very, uh, because the society um, makes the beauty patterns um, uh, the norm. So the girls were able to, to, to see that, to face this, this new reality. One student that was able to go into the university in a sociolo sociology class, they're talking about Robin Hood. So this, the, the, teacher, the teacher asked her, who was Robin Hood? The girl did not know and the teacher said, you don't know which planet do you come from? So the girl wanted to leave the classroom running. Then she asked the teacher, do you know this master Giro? No, so which planet do you come from? He's a, he's a leader from a Quilombola community, from the, the interior, the countryside of Santa Rem. So see, it's a matter of reacting in a way that to me is an attitude you adopt against a reality that starts to be contested in, in small doses. In the case of the Amazon, although the learning has been helping us because many of us in, in the organizations, in the forum, we come from popular education. And this issue of the 100 years of Paulo Freire, uh, it has been helping us to discuss uh, all those meetings. So the popular education meeting about Paulo Freire, uh, many people are there uh, from different organizations. And I don't know if you heard, but a lot of people have a sacred relation with the river. And this would come up during the discussions. What? Why do they fight? to defend the river, not just for the economical survival of the fish, but it's the sacred meaning that the river has for the history of that community. So that's very important for all of us to bring this, this, this meaning, this significance. I agree with Salette that we also, we still need, we st we're still, uh, we have a, cons a conservative vision, an authoritative vision of, a no of, a, of yeah, of, uh, yeah, being the owners of the knowledge. We are not prepared to recognize the knowledge of the other. And it's important that we recognize the other, the, the knowledge of the other, because to preserve the Amazon, we have to consider the traditional knowledge. And if you see the methodological proposal of the Colombian Forum, one of the main issues is exactly this is the knowledge in defense of Mother Earth and to understand the significance that the land to a native community is very different of the use of the land from a, for a big entrepreneur, either from Europe or from the south of Brazil. It's very difficult because for one, it just, uh, the gains, the financial gains. And if for the other, it's just preservation of life, the impact that the mining company has in the region. It, just in Pará, we have seven international uh, companies from Norway, from China, from America, etc. All of them with agreements, but they're exploiting our richness for them, not for the local development, not for the development of the local communities. And for that reason, uh, the 169 is important, the, the previous consultation, the, the uh, having the, the, this instrument of, of, of struggle. We have to understand this forum, not as a localized struggle, it's, it's a global fight because it impacts directly in the uh, uh, climate change, in the production of food, in the sustainability of the life and the people of the Amazon. 
Oh, I talked a lot. I went beyond my two minutes. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Mina. Okay, it was fascinating, Aldalisa. Uh, I think that this discussion has been extremely rich and we're looking forward to putting it together so that we can share it with other people and continue this discussion. I'd like to thank uh, our panelists. They were very, very engaged and have given us a lot of food for thought. So Jason, Seleche, Aldalise, thank you so much. And thank you very much to all the translators for the fantastic job they did. And without you, we wouldn't be able to have these discussions. Thank you. Uh, see you again. I hope that you will join us in our future sessions. Don't just come as a panelist in one. Uh, please join us in this ongoing discussions that we will be doing. Thank you. Next session is 26th of April. The next session. Pierre, Pierre, could you just announce that, please? Uh, it's on the 26th of April, if, if I'm not mistaken, or 28th, so it's end of April. And it's about uh, a dialogue between activists uh, uh, linked to social movements about the relevance of WSF. So it's, we, we alternate this notion of facilitators point of view, like today, and another one, which is more like a participant and what use how can we use this process for our own goals as uh, movements, etc. Uh, 26th of April, 26th. Yes. Uh, 27th. No, 27th? No, no. 26th. 26th, I think, Okay, but I... <laughs> It's a Tuesday. Confirm, yeah? we'll confirm, we'll confirm. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye bye. Tchau. Bye bye, bye, bye gente. Obrigada. Obrigada, Obrigada. Salete. Obrigada, Dalice. Obrigada, Obrigada. Jason. Obrigada. Obrigada. Foi bom te reencontrar, Salete, Guilherme, Mina. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Seguimos, seguimos, Claudia. Thank you. Thank you.